okay so now let's create our schema we're gonna start by creating a file inside here I'm gonna call it schema.js now before we write any code let's install a few dependencies we're going to use let's run npm install dash dash serve graphql and express dash graphql and inside schema.js i'm going to import build schema which creates our graphql schema from the graphql language so i'm going to do an import build schema from graphql okay down here i'm going to create my schema build schema and i'm going to use template strings I'm going to create a type. If you've used TypeScript before, you should be familiar with this. And I'm going to call this greeting, which is going to be a string. Okay. And now we're going to use Express GraphQL, which allows us to create an, a GraphQL HTTP server in a very simple way. So now I'm going to do an import GraphQL http from express graphql okay and right below my app.get method i'm gonna create a resolver i'm gonna call it resolver so a resolver is basically a function that will return data each time you make a query we will look at them in detail later on so here i'm gonna call the resolver greeting and I'm gonna resolve hey okay. I am GraphQL okay and down here I'm gonna use the resolver I just created I'm gonna do app dot use so when you hit GraphQL I'm gonna do GraphQL HTTP and we'll have the schema we created here and we have our root value and we'll pass the resolver which will resolve once the query is made and I'm gonna pass graph graphql I'm gonna set it to true so graphql is the graphql integrated development environment we will be using it in the browser to play around and test our graphql queries but down here I'm gonna add graph okay so let's run the server and test it out I'm gonna do npm start mm, seems I have an error here cannot find module express oh sorry typo it's supposed to be GraphQL okay I'm supposed to import my schema from schema okay I save that and let's make sure we're exporting our schema i'm gonna do export default schema okay so now if we open this in the browser we should have something like this now if we check the docs we can see that we have a root type called query and if we click on this we can see that if we query greeting we get a string like this so let's test it out here so i'm gonna do query and we make a greeting query we should resolve whatever the resolver returns from our code if i do like this and run this i should get this so now let's make a few additions to our schema yet we're going to create we're going to define a type person type definitions are simply definitions of what data we are expecting and the resolver will get that data for us so i'm going to change the type greeting and i'm going to change this to person with the type of person okay and now let's create type called person it's gonna look exactly the same way as our type query so in here i'm, I'm gonna have an id the type id i'm gonna have a first name which is of type string I'm gonna have last 
name gender and I'm gonna have email and all of these are gonna be strings so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here okay so now we need to go ahead and update our index to JS because if we don't do this and if we run the query it will throw an error because it's resolving greeting which is not defined yet because we've changed this to person so let's go ahead and change that so inside j i'm gonna change this to person and this will be an object i'm gonna return and this should match exactly what i've defined in my schema so i'm gonna have an id some random numbers i have my first name last name gender and my email address okay so now that we have this let's go ahead and test it out so now if i come here and i run this i'll get an error so the documentation explorer lets us know what kind of queries we can do so if i check inside here I just need to refresh this so if I check in here I can see I have person instead of greeting which was there before so if I if I do a query of person I'm supposed to get person with this type of things inside so if I change my query here to person there should be an autocomplete which tells me what kind of query I can make and I can do first name I can try to get the last name and if I run this I get exactly what I have defined in my resolver my first name and my last name I can also choose like what uh, the amount of data I want to get I can choose to get only the email address from here and if I run this query I'll get only the email address so right now let me go back into my history and if I do this I run this again I get back my my first name and my last name okay let's go ahead and do more with our schema 